Hello everyone. Welcome back to world of software testing. So in the last lecture, we have covered the difference between the white box testing techniques and black box testing techniques that is WBT versus BBT. So in this lecture, we are going to see some differences between static and dynamic testing. So again, this is very important difference which is getting asked in the interviews. So again, we must be prepared before going for the interviews. So we must have known some four or five differences between the static testing and dynamic testing. So here are some differences uh, we can see. So before going for this, uh, let's understand uh, the V model again. So again, uh, here, here we'll just uh, see in brief. So if you want to watch the complete video, you can uh, go to the playlist and you can uh, watch all those complete videos on the uh, SDLC process models. So here, uh, if you see on the left side, uh, this is the verification part. So you know, first there will be a BRS, that is a business requirement specification, then SRS, system requirement specification, then high level design will be done, then low level design will be done, then coding and in parallel to coding, there will be a unit testing and then the code. So if you see the verification and validation are associated with each other. So it means the BRS is associated with the acceptance testing, SRS is associated with the system testing and high level design is associated with the system integration testing, low level design associated with the component testing or also called as module testing and coding is associated with the unit testing. So if you see uh, on the on the left side that is a verification part. So in the verification, so that is uh, there will be some reviews, review inspection walkthroughs. So there will be reviews on the BRS document, SRS document, the uh, design documents and the coding. So basically the static testing is refers to the verification part and the dynamic testing is refers to the validation part. So in, in terms of validation, we are testing the complete application and in the verification, we are first reviewing the documents. So this is the brief idea on verification and validation. That is nothing but a static testing and dynamic testing. So let's move back and here we'll see uh, these differences between the static testing and dynamic testing. So if you consider uh, the uh, static testing here, so as, as I mentioned, this is, this is nothing but a verification and the dynamic testing is nothing but a validation. So this is performed by the uh, test engineers and the static testing is performed by the every team. So you can, you can consider the design team, design team, development team and the testing team. So this is, this is done by everyone. So uh, in the static testing, uh, there will be reviews of the SRS document, design documents or the codes. So definitely the BA will review the own, SR, uh, own SRS documents. Then the design people will check their own design and the developer will check their own codes with the help of unit testing. So uh, as we have mentioned uh, to test the code, the developer will perform the unit testing on the code. So this is the static testing and in case of dynamic testing, the test engineer will check the whole functionality of the application. So he will, he will uh, test all those scenarios or the uh, test cases on the whole functionality of the application. So this is the dynamic testing. So this is the first difference we have in the static testing and dynamic testing. The second one is static testing is a, about prevention. So here uh, in case of static testing, we are reviewing the documents. So the SRS document, the design documents or the codes we are reviewing first before it moves to the dynamic testing. So that's why it is termed as a prevention. So prevention and then the dynamic testing is about cure. So once the ap application or the code of, or the piece of application is developed. So on that particular application or the piece of application, the dynamic testing is done. So that's why dynamic testing is about cure. Then this is the 
second difference between the static testing and dynamic testing. Let's move on to the third one. The static testing comes under verification and the dynamic testing comes under validation. So as you have mentioned, so the verification is on the left side. So here all the reviews takes places. So BRS review, SRS review, the design reviews and the coding reviews. So this is nothing but a verification. So these are all the static activities and these are preventing. So this is this is nothing but a prevention. And then this is the validation part and this is act as a dynamic testing. So here the test test engineer will perform the actual test execution to check the functionality of the application. So this is the third difference between static testing and dynamic testing. Then the fourth difference is the static testing includes walkthroughs, code reviews. So here basically includes the walkthroughs. I have already shown this. The walkthroughs will again uh, dis discuss in the detail in the upcoming lecture and the code reviews and dynamic testing involves the functional and non-functional testing. So here we need to perform the functional and non-functional testing. In case of static testing, there, there will be some reviews like uh, peer review, peer review. Again, there are different types of reviews. So we'll discuss in the upcoming lectures. So this is the fourth difference. Static testing includes walkthroughs, code reviews, and the dynamic testing involves functional and non-functional testing. So move on to uh, the next, that is the fifth difference. So the static testing is done before the code de deployment and without execution of code. So and dynamic testing is done after the code deployment and with the execution of code. So again, if you move on to this uh, V model, so you can see this verification part, this verification part, this is a code deployment here. So this is a code deployment. And uh, this is the, actually this is the finish code. And then on the finish code, the coding team will perform the unit testing. And once the unit testing is done, so here from here, the build is given to the test engineer. And before this, all the verification part will be there. So that's why the, the deployment happens at this point. So the verification includes actually uh, the, the static testing occurs before the execution of code that is a before deployment of the code and after the deployment there will be a dynamic testing dynamic testing so after the deployment of code there will be a dynamic testing so to perform the dynamic testing we must have code deploy deployed to the QA environment so this is this and uh, this is the difference that is a fifth number difference between static testing and dynamic testing the sixth is the test case design is done before the static testing and the test execution is done during the dynamic testing. So again, uh, as we have mentioned here, so parallel to the coding. So uh, here when the developer starts the coding activity in parallel, the test engineer will perform the test case design activity, test case design activity. So uh, parallelly they will, they will identify all the test scenarios and based on those test scenarios they will perform they will design the test cases so the in static testing there will be a test case design and here we are actually executing the test cases so this is a test case execution so this is a difference between static testing and dynamic testing the test case design is done during the static testing and test case execution is done during the dynamic testing then uh, the SRS analysis design and coding phases comes under static testing. So again, this is the same we have discussed uh, that the SRS analysis design reviews uh, and coding phases comes under the static testing. So these are the different phases comes under static testing and the testing comes under the dynamic testing. So here we will perform the uh, component testing, then system integration testing and system testing and acceptance testing. So this four uh, test we are we we carried out in in the in uh, the dynamic testing and uh, this is also it comes under validation but this is performed by the test test uh, sorry uh, the developer so this is the difference between the seventh seven difference that is the srs analysis design and coding phases comes under the static testing and testing comes under the dynamic testing and the eighth is 
स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग अचीव हंड्रेड परसेंट स्टेटमेंट कवरेज इन रिलेटिवली शॉर्ट टाइम एंड द डायनामिक टेस्टिंग मे इन्वॉल्व रनिंग सेवरल टेस्ट केसेस ईच ऑफ विच टेक मे टेक लॉन्गर टाइम सो definitely uh, there are lot of uh, test cases or the scenarios uh, the test engine has to execute on this application so it takes lot of time or longer time than the static testing because the static testing we are we are uh, just reviewing all the all the uh, documents srs document design documents or the codes we will review in in the static testing so these are the differences between static testing and dynamic testing so again uh, the kind of differences are getting uh, asked in the interviews so we must be prepared before going for the interviews so you can remember any uh, four to five differences out of this so that will suffice and serve the purpose of the interviews so thanks for watching this video hope you have like like this video please subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos and click on the bell icon to get notified for the latest updates In the upcoming lectures we'll dig further into the software testing concepts thank you so much stay tuned